Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News. Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. Stand up for your country. Now, some of you are angry that no one will be prosecuted for the Russian collusion fraud. We now know the FBI totally injected itself into politics, did not conduct an honest investigation. The accusations that Donald Trump and his campaign were working with Russia were not true. The FBI knew it and continued the investigation. That's what the Durham report showed, and it was out yesterday. So I feel your pain. Some people should be charged, right? I mean, if Donald Trump is going to be charged for documents in his basement that he didn't even know about, um, and this FBI thing, come on. But the swamp will not do it. There's no way that the Justice Department is going to bring charges. So um, we have a corrupt government. And that's that. There's nothing that we can do other than elect different people and hope that they're more honest. But the Durham report has another aspect to it. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So the left wing is humiliated. They're incapable themselves of being humiliated, but the people who are not left wing, they know. Because the left wing went out and convicted Trump and his campaign all day long. Everybody knows that. Now they're humiliated. The FBI has lost all credibility with me. And I wrote Killing the Mob, and the FBI dismantled organized crime in the 1950s and early 60s. They knocked out the Ku Klux Klan. They kept a lid on Hitler's spies and uh, Japan saboteurs. They did a great job containing Russia in the Cold War. The FBI had a really stellar resume and is the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world, not just the United States. And now it's gone. The image is gone. You have to reorganize the whole thing because Americans believe it's corrupt, and it is. It flat out is. So that's the big thing with the Durham report. Durham said, quote, the FBI moved forward with the investigation despite a lack of information from the intelligence community that corroborated a hypothesis upon which the crossfire hurricane investigation was predicated. Um, and that, I'm going to use that quote that you just saw, that was a mistake. But the quote I just read you, okay, basically says the FBI conducted a fraudulent investigation. Now, this is the key quote in the Durham report. Put it on up. As the record reflects, as of early 2017, the FBI still did not possess any intelligence showing that anyone associated with the Trump campaign was in contact with Russian intelligence officers during the campaign. Indeed, Based on declassified documents from early 2017, the FBI's own records show that reports published by the New York Times in February and March 17 concerning what four unnamed current and former U.S. intelligence officials claimed about the Trump campaign personnel being in touch with the Russians was untrue. So not only did the FBI know it was untrue, they knew that the New York Times was reporting was bunk as well. And I'll get to the New York Times in a moment. So the whole thing was, again, a fraud, all right, that the FBI actively participated in to undermine Donald Trump's campaign in 2016. I mean, shocking. It's just absolutely shocking. And it's um, disturbing to the nth degree. Now, there's no two sides to the story yet. The far left manufacturers want. So Adam Schiff, the Congress from California, convicted Trump and the Trump campaign of a million felonies. You remember him. This is what he said last night. Go. This conclusion, which adds very little to the inspector general's report we had two years ago, never proves the deep state conspiracy that was alleged all along. So we have four years uh, of wasted effort. Uh, and worse than that, we have four years, I think, of uh, undermining the department in a political prosecution. Is there a more intellectually dishonest 
public servant in this country than Adam Schiff? I don't think so. I would take George Santos over Schiff. That's how bad Schiff is. And he, he knows he can say anything on MSNBC. I mean, it's, it's just a cartoon over there. But his constituents in California won't, they don't care. They don't care what he says. All right, let's get to the New York Times and the Washington Post. They won Pulitzer Prizes for their reportage on the Russian collusion case, which reportage the FBI says is fabricated. They made it up. Now, they made it up using anonymous sources. When I say made it up, the New York Times and the Washington Post printed what they were told by people they didn't identify. And, they, you know, when you do that, the person telling you something could have every motive in the world. You don't know. You can't confirm it. They just printed it. They got a Pulitzer Prize in 2018. Here was, here's what the Pulitzer Company said about giving them the award. Quote, for deeply sourced, relentlessly reported coverage in the public interest that dramatically furthered the nation's understanding of Russian interference in 2016 election and its connections to the Trump campaign, the president-elect's transition team, and his eventual administration, unquote. And it was all fake. And there's a Pulitzer Prize company. All right? So um, you're going, what the deuce is going on here, right? So the Pulitzer uh, people are based at Columbia University in New York City. Used to be a very prestigious award. Began in 1917. But now the Pulitzer company has no credibility, just like the FBI. None. So in 2022, last year, Pulitzer knew it was in trouble and they investigated. And here's the conclusion of that investigation. Quote, no passages or headlines, contentions or assertions in any of the winning submissions were discredited by facts that emerged subsequent to the conferral of the prizes. The 2018 Pulitzer Prize is a national reporting stamp. That's a lie. That's a lie. There, there are no facts. As Durham and Robert Mueller, the other special counsel, said, no facts. It was all bull. And it was engineered by the Hillary Clinton campaign. They provided the bull. The New York Times printed the bull. The FBI knew it was bull and went ahead with more investigating anyway. <laughs> I mean, really, I've been in this business a long time. And you know that. I've never seen anything like this. So some journalists uh, contacted the New York Times today and said, you're going to give the Pulitzer back? No. And the Washington Post wouldn't even take the call. I mean, you know, it's just, it's shocking. That's the word. It's just shocking. Now, I'm going to be on uh, News Nation tonight at 830 um, with Chris Cuomo. And then Cuomo's a Democrat. He's, he's a lefty. All right? And I'm, this is our lead topic here. So you might want to watch that. 8.30 News Nation tonight. So the White House obviously sees his Durham report. And a report only one from Real Clear asked Corinne Jean-Pierre about it. Go. Does he agree with... Uh, special counsel Burham, that there needs to be wholesale changes at the FBI? Again, that is uh, with the Department of Justice. That's not something that I'm going to speak from the podium. As you just stated in your question, we believe in an independent uh, de Department of Justice. <laughs> independent. It's corrupt. But, it's, you know, as long as it's independent, it's okay. It's corrupt. It's okay. Yeah, it's independent. Uh, you know, I can't. It's, I want to disparage Ms. Jean-Pierre, but I can't bring myself to do it. Too easy a target. It's almost like Kamala. It's just too easy now. Uh, okay, CNN uh, didn't mention the Durham report in prime time, according to my uh, producers. I didn't watch him anything like that. So I'm on Hannity Radio today. Uh, as we do every Wednesday, and it's posted on BillOReilly.com. Um, and and I, I said to him, this, he goes, oh, they don't. I said, no, no, it's not apathy. It's voter suppression. It's information suppression. 
So CNN, they, they're trying to move to the center and they don't mention the Durham report? Come on. It's just ridiculous. You see what, what's happening is this wave of corruption. It's incredible. All right, that's the memo. Um, there's a lot to absorb in it. If you are a premium member to BillOReilly.com, you can get a transcript of it, of what I just said, free, okay? And you can rewatch, you know, this broadcast. So I know there was a lot. I think you've got it, though, how bad this is. It's bad. Hey, you would be crazy not to use AMAX Medicare Advisory Service if you're 65 or over. AMAX Medicare Advisory Service is the conservative alternative to radical left companies like AARP. They offer free consultations with qualified Medicare experts who can answer all your Medicare questions, and I'm sure you have plenty. Even if you're already on Medicare, contact AMAC to see if you are overpaying for your current plan. There's no cost, no obligation to change plans, and no radical left agenda. Do business with people who have the same values you do, people you can trust. Forget the TV commercials and mailings, advertising, Medicare services. Go with a company that not only offers you dozens of Medicare choices, but also looks out for your interests without the woke nonsense. So please visit AMAX Medicare Advisory Service at amac.us forward slash trust. That's A-M-A-C dot U-S forward slash trust. T-R-U-S-T, trust. Go to the mail. Susan, concierge member, says, after reviewing much of the Durham report, I confess I'm not at all surprised about the failure of our FBI and Department of Justice uh, to investigate anything without bias. My understanding of our founding fathers' documents is that this is what they feared the most, a republic, if you can keep it. Benjamin Franklin, if you can keep it. Absolutely. Mary O'Hearn, in Hudson, New Hampshire, while reading some of the commentaries of various news sources on the release of the Durham report, it seems evident the government agencies colluded to smear Trump. What I don't understand is why. Come on, Mary. He, he's an outsider. The D.C. swamp people didn't want him. And then when he opens his mouth and spouts conservative stuff, the MAGA people, they hate him more than any. They hated any politician. That's why. Rank hate. Valerie, the country's divided and angry. I'm angry. My tax dollars funded the Durham report. And now what? Nothing happens after millions of dollars have been spent. But we know now for sure. We know for sure. Mark from West Virginia. Bill of Congress can charge Blinken with contempt for not complying with a subpoena to turn over requested Afghanistan memo. Why can't they charge Ray with contempt for not complying of hand, handing over the whistleblower memo on Joe Biden? They can. They can charge Ray. Absolutely. Robert Durling, Candler, North Carolina. Yes, you spend too much time telling us about how corrupt the media is. But I understand. I'm glad you understand, Robert. Our country will likely continue to decline as we push further away from honest principles. David, hey, Bill, in answer to your question as to whether or not you spend too much time on the corrupt media, I say this. You can't spend enough time exposing the corruption, okay? Miriam Moriani, Big Bear Lake, California, very nice place. I'm confused about your response, Bill to one of the letters you received saying that millions of illegal aliens are going to end up staying in the U.S. and not be deported. They all have to have asylum cases, and what if their requests are denied? Number one, most of them aren't going to show up, Miriam. Nobody's going to look for them. That's going to show up for their asylum hearing. They're not going to go. Number two, if they're, the asylum hearings are now five, six years down the road, Tell me you're going to deport people who have kids and a house. They're not. And they're not obeying the law, period, across the board. Greg Selman, Phoenix, Arizona, since white supremacy is basically the theme of Biden's presidency, uh, if this is our biggest threat, wouldn't it be one of the greatest failures of the FBI that there have been no prosecutions? It's not against the law to be a white supremacist. You can think what you want to think, but you if you point you make is a good one. 
if the white supremacists acted on it, then you'd think the FBI would crush them like they crushed the Klan. But we don't have any of those cases. Terry Carpenter, Ard, North Carolina. Who do you recommend as far as investing in gold and silver? Number one, Terry, I can't give investment advice. Okay, I can't do that. And number two, this is a concierge member question. On a concierge band, if you sign up for that program, I tell you what I do. That's all I can do. This is what I do. But I can't answer financial questions. Uh, Barbara, concierge member there. Barbara's got it. I really appreciate the wisdom of how you talk about differing views, Bill. I find it difficult to have conversations with people who have different thoughts about politics than I do. But I realize my point of view has value. I will begin to use your method so that my team normal position can be heard. Calm. Facts. Humor. Calm. Facts. Humor. Team normal can persuade. Okay, Father's Day coming up. We got three really good gifts. 89 bucks for Team Normal baseball hat, coffee mug, bumper sticker, and a yearly premium membership for dad. This is a great, great value. Then if dad's a reader, killing the legends, killing the mob together for just $18. And if you have those books, then we got Killing Crazy Horse and the United States of Trump together for $18. So I'm doing what I can to make dad and granddad happy. Word of the day, do not be a Visigoth, V-I-S-I-G-O-T-H, Visigoth. Back with the mystery special in a moment. Well, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now you could qualify for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan. You don't have to pay it back. Nobody knows about this more than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do the work and share a percentage of the cash they get back for you. Even those businesses who took PPP loans can qualify nonprofits, and churches as well. So let covidtaxrelief.org help you get up to 26000 bucks per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org. That's covidtaxrelief.org. So as a final thought of the day, I'm not going to be live tomorrow, but I have a special for you that's going to blow you away. And it's funny, I hope. And you're going to talk about it. But I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to tune in. (laughs) It's kind of, you know. But I guarantee that you will like this special. You may even love this special. All right, so the No Spin News tomorrow. We're going to have a special report that's funny and relevant to politics. You'll hear it. On the radio, you'll see it on television, all of that. And remember, I'm on News Nation talking about the Durham Report tonight. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. Check out the special tomorrow. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.